Hello, MBs, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hive Swap Act 2. I'm Mio, and it's my first time actually doing an audio commentary, so <laughs> I hope it go well. So, um, maybe some of you haven't seen before Act 1, um, but don't look on my channel because I didn't record it. Uh, I did uh, by myself, so fortunately there's a recap option, so for those who haven't seen or played at Act 1 at all, we're gonna check it real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna read the, read the description. Our story begins as all good stories do. In 1994, Joey Claire, a plunky puzzle-solving protagonist, is attacked by Mr. Christian creatures in an absentee father's ma manner. While our younger brother Jude managed to barricade himself safely in the treehouse, Joey must battle monster after monster in a desperate attempt to make it to our attic. Within, she finds a large portal unlocked by a strange key once in your deceased mother's possession. An unknown thought begins her to open it, one she simply cannot resist. The portal spirits her to the alien world of Arta. <coughs> the portal spirits her to the alien world of Alternia, putting her into a cluttered basement where its sister portal lay. In order to complete the intergalactic transfer, the portal also moved the alien boy Tamek to Joey's old haunt on Earth. Joey cannot step back through to the to her father mansion, for a force field surrounds the sister portal on Artenia, and a timer ticks down above it. Joey quickly finds Damek's best friend, Shefra Trito, who becomes an invaluable ally and confident. She learns the planet of Alternia is entirely populated by children and teenagers who must leave the planet when they reach adulthood to fuel the Grand Galactic Artenian War Machine. Her new friend Shefros is the lowest and most common blood color in the Hemospectrum, a highly segregated caste system that determines everything for how long you live to your inevitable vocation. At the top of the hemospectrum is the fuchsia blood treason, the sole heiress to the brutal space fairy empire. A limitless privilege, infinite resources, and all the militant drones of the planet at her disposal, she spends her assembly brief life harassing the youth for clot. Despite his innate cowardice, Shefros goes above and beyond to help Joey escape Tamek's hive before Teresa bombs his neighborhood. He discloses, of a secret channel, of course, that he is a participant in Tetra Tamek's shadow rebellion against the Empire. Tamek has planned upon plans to de establish the caste system, and Shefros is more than happy to sit back and be cog in the wheels of overthrowing the oppressors. He suggests that a friend of a fan of his band will know how to get Joey back to Earth, and the two ride away on Damek's Lucis, freeing the carnage of his bomb out subgroup. And thus, the curtains open, the stage is set, the lights come down, and Act 2 of our little play begins. So, that was it. That was it for the recap of Act 1. 
I hope it's not too <laughs> complicated or maybe a, a little confused. But if you unsure about anything or just want to know more about, I rec I uh, recommend you to uh, check a let's play or maybe ask ask people about it. Yeah. Don't be afraid to ask. So, I hit new game for now. Okay. Alright, I think that was this one. And let's go. Wow, that's pretty empty. Yay, friends! <coughs> All right, try to do a chef's voice. <coughs> Joey, are you doing okay? Yeah, give me a second. <laughs> what do you think? It fits, at least. It sort of smells like nacho cheese, but it could be worse. Oh yeah, sorry for grabbing a dirty one. Just make sure you keep your hood up. Do you think it would fool anybody if I don't have horns? Oh. Well, just keep your head down if you can. Sure, of course. Guess the next question is, where are we headed? You said we're going to see one of your friends. Will he freak out when I, he sees me? Crisia? No, I don't think she already she really care about you being an alien. Besides, she got way more important things to think about right now, with a huge party going on. Well, I keep my best spear for a better disguise. How many people are going to be at this party? Probably a lot. She's a fire blood, so... You know. No, I don't know, Shefros. I don't know anything. Right, wow. Basically, all you need to know is she's pretty influential. And getting her on board was a really big break for us. But right now, we should probably just get out of here soon as fast as possible. We have to trunce it all. So, Critea is a vile blood, huh? I, I thought she was maybe purple, but I guess, I guess I was wrong. Right, sorry about your house and everything. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it got destroyed in a fire. Yeah, so sorry about that. And you crushed bones? Nah, that was not your fault. That was a massive missile's fault. Drones. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. Great! It looks like you're ready to begin your quest. It looks like I'm ready to finally begin this let's play. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <sighs> if you need any help on your journey, the Christian might build on you. Uh, it's available for use. Health will now be accessible to all opposing points of story when Joey is the most active. Okay. So, hints only when I'm controlling Joey, not Sheffers. So what? Oh. Mm. I must have been hearing things. Let's go find some train tickets. Alright. She's pretty good with a hoodie and all. Nah. 
So the difference bef between Act 1 and Act 2 is um, the UI. I mean, the inventory up ahead, on, the, on the above, right here, it's pretty much the same, but the interaction visual ones have been changed. So let's take a look at uh, Damex Lucis. He's not so bad after all. Good dear cat, best friend. Maybe we can just go back. He carried you so far and so fast. He deserves the rest. Aww. He sure do. Oh, neat. You can talk to Shephros. Oh, wow. I'm sore. Turns out riding a deer cat takes a lot more concentration than you think. It hurts. Yeah. I don't think I ever seen Damek cry him before. But why is there a system to sit on if it doesn't sit on it? Huh. Can you ride your losses? Oh, um, yes, sort of. She isn't really the same as your losses, so. She's just a dog, but she's big and white, and I did ride her as a kid. Okay, so we'll take 